This video will guide builders in the correct construction of a Lysart Living Collection gable insert structure attached to a building. Bluescope Lysart have over 150 years in the building industry in Australia, making quality products which will give you years of service if installed and maintained correctly. Lysart Living Collection is a series of home improvement products, including carports, awnings, verandas, and gazebos, both freestanding and attached, either with pitched or flat roofs, or a combination of both. Now we're going to look at the whole building sequence from beginning to end in time lapse, so you can get a feel for the whole process. There are two construction methods, build top down or build from the ground up. This video describes the top down method. Our first consideration is worker safety. Write a safe work method statement and check the work site conforms to the safe work practices in the Building Code of Australia, including personal protective equipment and working at heights safety measures. An engineer should certify that the existing building will take the additional load of the new structure. Here's a quick look at the tools you'll need to do the job. Screw gun with hex head bits, a handheld grinder, cordless drivers, circular saw with a metal cutting blade, tin snips, spirit level, marker pens, string lines, clamps or vice grips, measuring tape, a hammer and a hacksaw. Using the bill of materials, lay out the parts received and check that all the required components have been delivered. Using the CC builder plans, mark out the outside dimensions where your gutters will be located on the fascia using a tape measure. Set up and level your props at the correct height, which is measured from the underside of the gutter at the front of the new structure. Trim the front and back gutters to length and attach the gutter corners. Add the gutter stiffener inside. Position the back gutter on the props at the marks on the house fascia. Adjust height to achieve the correct fall of the gutter. There are several alternative connections possible here, depending on the design of the structure. You'll need to attach the back gutter to the house rafter. Push up the roof sheets to allow access to the existing rafters and truss. Fit the rafter attachment brackets with the large face sitting up against the rafter truss tail and the small face hard up against the back of the existing fascia. Place the Z brackets inside the gutter with the long leg upwards against the inside edge in line with the rafter attachment bracket. Drill holes and fit bolts and nuts to connect the Z bracket to the attachment bracket and the gutter. Cut the side gutters to the correct length. Position the other two gutters on the existing gutter corners. Position the second gutter on the props parallel to the first gutter at the correct distance from the fascia. And ensure side length is correct and the structure is square. Check the diagonals are equal. Connect the gutter to the gutter corners using neutral cure silicon and rivets. Fit the connectors to the beam as shown on the detailed drawings. Measure the distance between the inside corners of the gutter and cut your head beam to that length, allowing the end beam connectors. Once completed, place the beam on the props with sufficient fall to suit where the downpipe goes. Then fit the beam connectors to the rear gutter and front head beam. Add the inside return beams and fix the connectors. Referring to the drawings, position and mark the location of the posts on the head beam. Plumb a line and mark the locations on the concrete slab. Fit the U connector to the slab using screw anchors. Measure the height of the posts from the slab to the underside of the beam. The length of the posts will vary depending on the slope of the slab. Cut the posts to each of these individual lengths. Position the post into the U-connector and fix, ensuring screws go through both the post and the U-connector. The top of the post is notched and the post connects to the inside face of the beam. Once this is complete, the props can be removed. As your structure requires rafters and purlins, refer to the CC builder drawing and measure out the correct rafter location on the head beam. Now fasten the connectors to the marked position and fix into place. Make sure the connector is flush with the top of the head beam. This means that everything is complete except 
for the sheeting and the gable insert. It's now time to add the pitched roof structure. First check your CC builder plan which will give you the dimensions to cut your rafters. Add gable end connectors to the top of the beam and bolt and screw to the end rail. Install the rafters on the gable end, first starting at the house end. Cut the rafter to length square. Connect the crown delta connector to those trimmed rafters. Position the rafters into the gable connectors and screw into position. Calculate the distance between the trusses and mark out the location on the side rails. Put the connectors on the side rails. Cut your top purlins to length, which is the measured distance between the inside of the trusses. Drop them into position and fix together. This completes everything except for the sheeting and the downpipes. Bend the pans of the sheets to the weather end of the roof sheets. Be careful not to tear the corners. Start laying the sheeting for the flat roof either side of the gable insert pitched roof as this must be installed first. The sheeting should be hard up against the gutter at the back. The top edge of the sheet should sit on the top of the side rail and screw through the first corrugation of the sheet to the purlins and beams using the correct length screw. Continue until all sheets are laid and fixed. Measure, cut and fit sheets on the gable insert, working from the house to the head beam. Using a non-permanent marker and a level, mark a plumb line down each end of the crown connector at the apex. Cut, install and fix the infill to the gable ends. Drill pilot holes in the bottom of the gutter. The last thing to do is fit the side barge flashing to the gable ends and the ridge capping. On completion, remove all foreign objects from all of the surfaces. Once you rivet the safety signs on the inside of the head beam, you're done. Let's revisit that whole sequence from beginning to end in time lapse, so you can picture the whole process. And that's how you build a Lysart Living Collection attached gable insert structure.